our DNA is geometric in structure. And actually, if you Google images of DNA, human DNA in particular, and what it looks like, you will see the spiral-like formation, or you will see the DNA is structured in spirals. Now, why is this? Or what is interesting about this spiral-like formation? Well, it's geometric in nature, and that's the design of our DNA. But why does our DNA travel in spirals? Well, you can actually attach a mathematical equation to our DNA. And this equation is Fibonacci sequence, the golden ratio, or others know it as phi. And so we can work out the golden ratio, or we can get the numbers of the golden ratio in our own DNA when we do the mathematics and when we analyze it from a geometric perspective. What's interesting about the universe we find ourselves in is that sacred geometry seems to be everywhere. And when we are talking about the universe being one or humans being one with the universe and not separate from anything, human beings actually being the infinite creator of the universe or God, then it's interesting to mention that DNA is geometric because if sacred geometry is everywhere, and our DNA is geometric, that literally means we are merging with our reality. We are part of our reality. We are not separate from it. And in fact, sacred geometry holds the keys to understanding things like time travel, teleportation, telepathic communication. We all already know that consciousness travels in waveforms. Is this something to do with the geometric forms that already exist in nature? Well, sacred geometry seems to be such an intrinsic part of our existence that the only logical answer would seem to be yes. And so again, we are discussing or talking about a fundamental aspect of our reality, which really holds the keys to understanding who we are. If we are able to understand that DNA is geometric in nature and we can attach mathematical equations to it, can we then use geometry or sacred geometry to find ways to heal our DNA, find ways to heal illnesses and diseases that we may acquire? Well, sacred geometry certainly seems that powerful. And what's even more interesting is that we have already seen the human body heal with sound frequencies, harmonic frequencies. We know that harmonic frequencies like 432 hertz are really good for the human body and good for health. Why is this? Well, these harmonic frequencies can produce geometric structures in the ether, in the universe, in time space or space time. And so, yes, we have already seen sacred geometry healing the human body, healing DNA through sound frequencies. And so what else can we do with sacred geometry for the human body, especially for human evolution?